Happy New Year again, people. Hope your year has been going great. Uh, if you watch us for the first time, I'm saying Happy New Year. Um, in case you don't know what this is, and um, if you watch us for the first time, Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show that covers everything entertaining and popping from your favorite musicians, artists, whoever. Um, while we are sipping tea, we also serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown, and everything pertaining lifestyle. If it's important, it will get to this table. If it's not, then sorry. If it's um, and also to do the hot and sizzling anal analysis with me, I have Inola, baby. <laughs> and if you're the okay. Hi. Happy New Year to you. Yes, Same we've thing. seen each other this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where we have. But I think that today's one feels more like the year has actually started Sorry. because when we saw each other last time, there was a break. Mm -hmm. And now that. Now everybody's gone back to work. Mm -hmm. It feels a lot more serious. Like the first Monday. And I even feel like the last time we saw each other, you know, New Year's Day, actually, we're having a party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're yeah. actually so this, you're back yeah. to serious. Yeah. This is like, yeah, yeah the official yeah. Happy New Year. I mean, like, if you, Happy New Year, guys. Uh, like, yeah, that's the mood. Yeah, and if you missed that, then, you know, sorry for you, because that was actually a vibe. Mm -hmm. The hype man and the mm -hmm. DJ that and was your there. dancing moves MC that day. Fish. Who? Me. Even now. Okay. Huh. Is this February? You. No, you. Me. Yeah, I was not even me. dancing, bro. Because even the hype man, you get one dance, where do the guy say, what type of dance is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If I, there's no future in this dance. <laughs> but, and, but I know you want to dance. I think inside of yes. your heart, I, I thought you, I was. Yeah. Oh, like I was doing like, like, yeah. like, 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 But then head. outside, he looks like he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm really hoping that this year is awesome for everyone. Mm -hmm. I've already started getting my first challenges. Like, oh, more, I have to, like, you know, I don't say challenges, but, like, yeah, challenges is, is okay word. I was like, getting no, back don't into... No, start new year with challenges, though. I mean, challenge can be a good thing. Like, things that would put you on your feet that you have mm -hmm. to really think about, solve issues here and there. I mean, it depends on how you look at it. So I had... That's why I was slapped back into reality. That, oh, more, what I started with? It's time to buckle up. But I had a very good... Um, holiday, I think from Christmas to New Year, mm -hmm. it was it was a vibe, and I'm I'm, I'm really hoping for 2020. I mean, work has started, so it's not as if I can be turning up the way I was, but I'm excited for 2021. I hope you guys are too. Let's not jinx it, too, but okay. Be you. in 2020. <laughs> uh, however, Schmurder <laughs> became one of Nigeria's hottest artists mm -hmm. in the early hours of December 3rd, which was yesterday. Nigerian star on the rise, Bella Schmurder, hopped on Instagram live session to have a conversation with Nigerian star rapper Zatlan and Small Doctor. And during the chat with Zatlan, Schmurder got emotional and he said, I love you. And I was going astray, but you supported me with everything in 2020. You, meaning Tatlan, and Olamide, Pokoli, and Papi Snoop. I was going astray when you found me and helped me, and I was smoking and drinking nonsense, but you helped me. Mm -hmm. And then also in Yoruba, he said, which I'm obviously going to interpret in English, okay. Papi Snoop also kept me on my toes. He was like a big brother who never gave me a chance to go astray. Mm -hmm. I started 2020 on a wild note, but I ended it with cash up while cashing out. I can't believe it and I'm super grateful. He didn't say super, that's just me. In 2020, Shmoda became one of Nigeria's hottest artists. He released his EP, High Tension, released during the Afro-mentioned anthem, Cash Up, and appeared on songs with David Doe and Olamide. He also got Hedy's nod for next rated artist. So yeah, he's doing really Why well for himself. Why you so excited we do that? I, you see, I like stories like this. I like Why? when music saves people. Most of the time, people think that music does the, uh, the opposite. Like, you get into the music industry and then you lose God and, like, you lose your way and all of yeah. that. And, and, you know, most, most parents don't really support that industry mm. per se. Yes, that is a, a still a reality. I'm not going to lie. Mm. But we need, we need more stories like this that shows the other side of music, the beautiful side of the industry, that this thing can actually be life-saving. It can be trans transformational. And if you look at his story and all of that... He comes from absolutely nothing. And in this country, we know what that's like for people who are not born with silver spoons or who don't, who don't have parents to buy them a car when they graduate from school and take them abroad and all of that. So to me, it's like such a big deal that he was lucky enough to be saved from all of that. And then we now add drugs into it, that this could be a talent that I could have wasted. Like we, could have, we might have never had Triumph or, or Cash App if he was gone you know, with the drugs and stuff, so it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Not for him, by the way. 
I keep saying that there are two groups I love in Nigeria, Davido's group and Pokoli and Naramadi right. group. Like you can see this um, genuine love between Pokoli all of them. Pokoli has a group. Yes, it's part of um, yeah, Zautan it's, it's, and yeah, um, Naramadi. Yeah. If you follow them on Instagram, you see it. Okay. okay. So I genuinely like their group because you can, you can feel this love between all of them. Like they literally support each other. They, they are not living with this stereotype like, okay, if you come from nothing, you know how some people believe that mm. if you come from nothing, you're part of the crazy people or... Um, you're part of the, um, what, should I use hoodlums? Is that mm. part of it? So I just love the way they support each other and they're always moving each other. So uh, congratulations, even Olamide in his songs, he's always saying that um, even though you come from nothing, you can still be classy and yeah. you can still be this. So I love the way he encourages and yeah. brings up new talent. So I'm, I'm happy for him. There is definitely a synergy in mm -hmm. their group. I don't know much about the DMW okay. personally, but I've had insights with a few people who are in the Malian squad. Okay. And a lot of them usually <coughs> preach love. I'm not saying that they're the best people on mm -hmm. the planet and I support everything that they do. True. But it, it, when two, three, four people start to say the same thing, they don't know each other, it's hard to not believe it. Mm -hmm. When you are, when they, they keep telling you that, guys, this, the social media perspective or the public perspective, um, perception rather, mm -hmm. is very different. That there True. is a lot of love. And you see that the love doesn't, you don't, you don't need to have much to qualify to mm -hmm. be in that circle like some talented. of them have music some of them dance some mm -hmm. of them are just there but if you're sure in that circle the <laughs> love is there and i really mm -hmm. like that as well yeah yeah i think the key word there is um you know music is a savior for a lot of people and mm. uh, a lot of people tend to undermine that you see there are a lot of people that music has actually saved and taken off the streets we, we have a lot of celebrities these days that we actually look up to uh, if not for music they could have mm. been worse and um, <clears throat> so i think that's something that we should know that's a gift that has been given to us by god and something that mm. we can't you know take away because you find out that even in your darkest hours sometimes it's just that music that is always there for you mm. that's the only thing that ministers to you and i think that's just really solid for him to come out and, you know, really express himself and actually speak about the people who were supported him during his, um, you know, down times. And I think that's really commendable because not a lot of people, especially when you're blowing up this much, you probably mm -hmm. forget where you started from. But this is one guy that is still showing appreciation, even though he has like one of the biggest songs of 2020, because I don't mm -hmm. think anyone can say Cash Up mm -hmm. is not one of the yeah, biggest absolutely. songs of 2020. So big shout out to him for his honesty and big mm -hmm. shout out to all these guys that he's mentioned because, yeah, they may not be... That's why they say uh, the devil you know is better than the angel you do not know because they may not be the best role models to some other people, mm -hmm. but there's also some people that are benefiting from their badness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you understand? And they're serving as a source of motivation. So I think we should just always learn to see the good things in bad situations. Yeah. yeah. I think also to promote the culture of really looking out for others. Mm. Um, I'm all for minding your business mm -hmm. it, it, when it's necessary, okay. but it would be nice, especially with the boy community. I might be wrong now. I'm just coming from a woman's perspective. I think men do this minding business thing a bit too much that they don't look out for each other a lot of the times. Like you see a lot of guys that will be going through things and I'll mm -hmm. say, oh, have you spoken to maybe, I know if it has a close yeah. friend called Benga or something. Mm -hmm. So have you spoken to Benga about this? Because like, I don't really know what to say. And so I haven't spoken to Benga yet. They don't, what on like women, whereas it is happening, we're already telling three or four mm -hmm. people and stuff like that. So okay. when I see people who, guy friends who have that relationship where they can mm -hmm. be vulnerable, they can be True. honest, there's space for them to cry. Maybe not even, if it's, even if it's not literally, for a place for them to pour out their mm -hmm. hearts. I know a lot of boys have that, but there's also quite a, a significant amount that doesn't really have that. Like, you at least say that. I think yeah. also yeah. the patriarchal system where we're not allowed to show weakness. Even, mm. mm. even guys, they're not allowed to cry. Now, I think um, I, I have a typical example for that. You know, there was this time I was going through something and I discussed with one of my friends. And what did they say? Yes, yeah, smart man. You sort this out. That was it. Wow. And that was all I needed to hear at that time. And I did sort it out. Be smart, man. That was all. So it's not a matter of the fact that I'm coming to you with my problem. But do you think it. sometimes you might need more than that? True. I don't know. Depending on how you look at it, depending on how your emotions work, some of us are built too strong to be broken. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So when sometimes you just need that word of encouragement and sometimes you need to actually... And when I need to get that soft, I think I know where to go to. Mm. Okay, that's the most okay. important thing. But anyway, in the spirit of... Let's say softness now. <laughs> or just, you know, being... Let's just vibe, shall